Okay, we're told here that a sphere has a cap removed and we're asked to use integration to find the volume of the cap which has been removed and hence find the ratio of the volume of the cap to the volume of the whole sphere. So we're going to have to find the volume of the whole sphere and the volume of the cap. It's a volume of revolution question, so we're going to use integration. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to find a way of placing this onto an xy axis and we're going to think about what shape would be rotated to create this sphere. Now we can either rotate it around the x or the y axis because it's equal. I'm going to choose to do it around the x axis because it's slightly easier. Okay so I've placed um, the circle onto the axis. Um, I'm told that the radius is 9 so this point here is going to be 9. I'm going to have the centre of the circle at the origin and this side is going to be minus 9. The part that's been removed has a depth of 3. So this point here is going to be 6 because I've got 6 still there and 3 has been removed. Now I need to find a way of describing what I have here is a circle, and you know that the equation of a circle with centre 0, 0 is x squared plus y squared equals r squared. So in this case, x squared plus y squared is 81. I'm going to rotate a semicircle around the x-axis, which means... I need to use the volume of revolution formula. So I'm going to be integrating pi y squared dx. Now, I know that x squared plus y squared is 81. So I'm going to rearrange this and say y squared is 81 minus x squared. Now, I know what I've got to integrate. I'm going to integrate between 6 and 9 because actually I just want to know the volume of this part here, the, the cap that's going to be removed. I can also integrate between negative 9 and 9 or between 0 and 9 twice to get the volume of the sphere. However, I'm told in the, formula, in the question the formula for the volume of the sphere. So I'm just going to use that um, for the second part of the question. So to find the volume of the cap, I'm going to just integrate between 6 and 9. And I'm integrating 81 minus x squared. Which is going to give me 81x minus x cubed over 3. Between the limits of 6 and 9, which is going to give me, oops, not my pi, 81 times 6 is 729, and 6 cubed over 3 is 243, 81 times 9 is 486. And 9 cubed divided by 3 is 72. Altogether that's 486. Take away 414, which gives me 72 pi. Now what I've worked out there is the volume of the cap. So this part of the sphere that's been removed. And so I've answered this part of the question using integration methods, find the volume of the cap done. Hence or otherwise find the ratio of the volume of the cap to the volume of the sphere. I'm going to work out the volume of the sphere just by using this formula here. The radius is 9, so the volume is 4 thirds times pi times 9 cubed 
which is going to work out at 972 times pi. So the ratio of the cap to the sphere, well the cap volume is 72 pi, so I've got 72 pi to the ratio of 972 pi. I can divide both of those by pi, which is 72 to 972. And I can reduce them by dividing them, they both divide by 36, and that's 27 to 2 is a simplified ratio. This style of question, it's worth 10 marks here and you can see that once we got started actually none of the maths was terribly tricky at all. What makes this question difficult is its accessibility initially. So if you had not realised how to get the equation of the circle and how to place the circle on the axes the marks are not accessible to you. Once you know that the actual mass is really easy, so the 10 marks are a really easy 10 marks. Okay.